George and Maine there. Now, as any agent will tell you, selling real estate in our current flat market is a pretty big challenge. But just when you thought they've used every trick in the book to get a sale, the latest marketing ploy is Hollywood style videos with sex appeal and humour. Frank Pangallo went on location with an agent whose sales videos are an internet hit and he's selling properties in record time. very much about a point of difference. When the going gets tough, it seems sex still sells. Imagination and creativity to make it stand out from the, from the pack. This slick blockbuster video is taking selling a house on Queensland's Gold Coast to a new level. Can you describe the home please? It's a three level home, contemporary design. Oh. Open plan living, gourmet kitchen, pool, rooftop spa. Corn sells. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it does. So you're making corn videos. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Do you have the package? Well, why don't you stay away? We've got plenty of time. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a man on a mission. And then there's this B-grade spoof from Licensed to Sell Adelaide Corn star Andrew Kiriaku, who works for Michael Chris Real Estate. A butterfly hunter. <laughs> a lot of the times when real agents sell real estate, they're basically um, empty rooms, but I like to put a bit of life into it. I think I'm going to stick to real estate. It works. It worked for me. Uh, I expected the house to be on the market for a lot longer than it was. Andrew managed to sell Petrolist's unit in just six days, achieving more for it than she'd ever dreamed of. Well, let's do a James Bond theme. That way where, you know, you've got the electric gates, the, the elevators, so let's have fun with it. We certainly did. Went viral. A bit wacky, yeah. He's obviously thinking a bit outside of the square. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the tour of my beautiful home. <laughs> Call me. Sarah Orellana was cast in the video of her house. It sold in under two weeks, well above her expectation. Now everyone was telling me it's not going to sell. You're not going to get nothing for it. The market's gone back down to when you bought it, you know, five years ago. What do you know? Walk away with eggs from more than I expected, really. They're a little bit corny, aren't they? Absolutely. You've got to. Uh, I think people want to see that. That's what they want to see. You want to reach and relate to your demographic. In a dead real estate market, Andrew's vendors aren't complaining. He's already made a dozen videos that are downloaded onto YouTube and the company's own website. He's also written a book on how to sell a house for top dollars. We try to make it so that people are walking through the house and seeing the house much more than, say, a photo slideshow or that sort of thing. So we use steadicams, we use cranes, we use sliders, dollies, we use all these things to, um, to kind of make people part of the experience. James and Larissa Lopez's production company, Perspective Media, makes Andrew's videos. It's going to make the house that much more accessible to people who can't necessarily get to an open, who can't necessarily... It reduces traffic through. It does a whole bunch of things to, to improve uh, the life of the agent, the lives of the vendors. Their productions won't bust your budget. In fact, they're far more cost-effective than newspaper and magazine ads. Anywhere between, uh, uh, I think, $300 to $1,000. The video is there for the duration of the campaign. So you're getting more bang for your buck, but also you're you're reaching a far greater audience when people, our demographic buyers, are all looking online anyway. When you do look back on, on others that others do and look at what Andrew's drawing, it's, it's chalk and cheese. Andrew's bosses, Michael Georgiatis and Chris Papagianis, are amazed at the results and say creative videos are the future of real estate advertising. I think Andrew's uh, set a benchmark, uh, which I suppose a lot of agents will follow suit. You've got to be that type of character, and uh, he's got it all. Doesn't matter what market we're in, there's always buying and selling happening, but providing that we stand out, you're going to sell in any given market. His latest challenge is a $3.2 million mansion by the sea. You've got your magnificent pool and an outdoor kitchen as well, leading onto the pool. 
uh, tennis court, uh, ample bedrooms. It really is the entertainer's home. So you get a serve of John McEnroe. Out. Out. You can't be serious! The ball was in! Hell's Kitchen's Gordon Ramsay. You're just so f***ing like this. It's not, not, not difficult, yeah? And man Kenny Borat. I admit it, I, I love it. I, I just, I have fun with it. And I think people see that. And because you're having fun with it, you're actually passionate about showcasing those benefits of the home. So it's a win-win for everyone. Oh well, as they say, if it works. Now coming up next on...